What's up guys, it's Austin Pro today. I'm gonna show you guys how to use voice control in iOS 13 today. So, the first thing is to do is go to settings, go to accessibility, go to voice control, turn this on. You'll notice a new listening indicator up here. So, really cool. So now to go back, I see this. Go back. And as you can see, it automatically did it. So now to select another tab, I do this. Tap voice control. Just like that, I tapped it. Now, I'm going to do the, the back command again. Go back. And just like that, it went back. Now, to go to general, I see this. Tap general. Just like that, it tapped general. And now, to go home, I see this. Go home. And just like that, I'm back at the home screen. So now, to launch settings, I see this. Open settings. Just like that, I open settings. So, really cool. To scroll through a page, I see this. I scroll down. Try it again. Scroll down. Just like that, it scrolls. Now I'm gonna do it again to get this part to scroll. Scroll down. Just like that, it did the other side. Now I'm gonna do it for the backup part. Scroll up. And just like that, it scrolled up. Just like that. And to pan around on the screen, I see this. Pan down. Just like that, it panned down. I'm going to do it for the other way now. Pan up. And just like that, it panned up. So, really cool. So now, to launch apps, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Like this, go home. Just like that, it went back to the home screen. So to open apps, I say this. Open calendar. Just like that. Now I'm going to say, now I'm going to go back to the home screen. Go to home screen. Just like that, I'm back of the home screen. So if you want to change pages to which apps you want to go to, you see this, swipe left. Just like that, it's swiped to the other, other page. And to go back the other way, I see this, swipe right. Just like that, it went back to the home screen, so really cool. If I want to go back to your widgets, I see this, swipe right. Just like that, I'm back on my widgets. So if I want to go back, take the widget page off, I see this, swipe left. Try it again, swipe left. So, as you see, it's pretty buggy at the moment, so I'm gonna try it again. Swipe left. As you see, it's swipe left, so, so it won't work if, you're do if you have the widget page open here, it won't close it by saying that, so. As you see, guys just saw there. So now, this can be used for typing, but it's kinda like buggy right now, so I'm gonna do the App Store for an example. Go to the search tab in my desk, Apple Store. And just like that, I searched. Search. So I'm gonna go back and now tap search. Tap search. And just like that, it searched the Apple search the App Store. So really cool. Tap on Apple Store. Tap Apple Store. So as you can see, it doesn't work in the App Store right at this time because it's still a beta. So Apple's going to be fixing it up and I'm going to be learning how to use it a little more. So yeah. Now I'm going to say this to go back to the home screen. Go home. Just like that, I'm back at the home screen. To now if you want to do the control center, you say this. Open control center. Try it again. Open control center. So, it's a little stubborn, so I'm going to try it again. Open Control Center. Just like that, it opened the Control Center. So, really cool. And, to do Siri, I see this. Open Siri. Just like that, Siri came on. And it turned off the listening temporarily, so Siri could speak to me. Now, after I closed Siri down, it went back to this. So, really, really cool command. So, this... Voice control could do so much deep, more than I think. So, a few more Apple launches to demonstrate. Launch iTunes Store. Open iTunes Store, I meant. Let me try it again. Open iTunes Store. So, it's still a little buggy, so I've seen it there's a few bugs, like the, like the opening app stopped working there. So, yep, that's pretty much the basics of how to use voice control. So, that's pretty much it for this video. If I did video, give it a sub, submit it to my video.